Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, we're going to be trading textbook RV strategy, and I'm going to be doing in-depth pattern analysis as we do it. Um, my performance yesterday reading the patterns was pretty dismal. I rewatched the the video myself, and I just I thought I was saying one thing and I was saying another, and it happened like two or three times. So. That's why I, the emphasis is when you're going to learn patterns, you know, it's great that you have somebody you watch videos. Best to get that book, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook, that has them all, every single pattern, and them, they're all rated. I will try to do better today, <clears throat> assuming we have some patterns I can call. Um, and I'm also, I got a lot of questions about the RV strategy and what I was doing because it was sort of a hybrid, and I didn't go into a lot of detail. I mean, I ended up making AK, but... It was just not, I didn't explain it well. So I apologize for that. I'm going to try to do better today. And for those of you that have heard this a hundred times, then just fast forward till 10 o'clock. You've got about uh, 15 minutes and I will start be, be trading with a demonstration video on this technique. So I am not a licensed financial advisor. Make sure you read this. This is an entertainment channel teaching with demonstrations of videos uh, through to, for entertainment purposes only. So you should seek the advice of a licensed financial advisor before you go to trade. Trade in a simulator till you're green and then only trade with money you can afford to lose. Take it slow. Take it very slow when you try any strategy. So this is the what we consider to be the perfect one minute layout. This layout is a Available for you to get on multiple places on the channel if you just type in, in in the episode they're all episodes just type in under search you know perfect layout or whatever it'll come up as well as all the custom scripts which I didn't go into a lot of yesterday anything that says DTS is day trading for success custom script that I coded in and have made available for free for all the people here on think script and I know a lot of them have been um, adapted for other platforms as well and I've also had help from my subscribers and ChatGBT to create some pretty cool um, scripts. This is one of the better ones. This is the scalping indicator. So the green means the buying, the red means the selling, the blue means the volume on this histogram here. This is showing you the, the rating, right? I mean, the percentage of as it's moving. So the idea is you just kind of jump on the wave, like you jump on it going short there, and then if it, you jump on it going long there, and you just try to drive that, ride that wave. Now, <clears throat> what else is involved in this strategy is it's a range bound strategy. So you have a lot of support and resistance levels that I mark out in the book, Day Trading Volume One, which is like the only book of its kind that actually starts from the beginning on how you open up an account, even overseas account, if you want to how to day trade, how to short. And then it goes into a specific strategy called the RV strategy, which we're going to be trading today and exactly how to lay it out, all the different versions of laying it out, and how to take your trades in between these ceilings and floors, these support and resistance and these Fibonacci lines and four-hour lines and one-hour lines and 15-minute lines and even five-minute uh, levels, depending on what channel size you want to trade in. So when I say range-bound trading, you find a range first with your ATR, and then you create channels within those range, in that range, and every channel has a ceiling and a floor. Like today, I've done four hour, one hour, and 15 minute channels. This was a four hour channel from here to here, and there was no pivot points to create something in the middle until I went to the 15 minute. So people like to trade with different share sizes. So this is a, was a 60 or a 30 uh, cent channel right here. So we got that channel down a little bit better for the traders that are trading with me today on Zoom um, that are more, you know, are, want to be careful of making sure they manage their risk by being able to ride the entire channel. So we're looking for these pivot lines that we mark to create channels that we can rely on. They're not going to be reliable all the time, but why wouldn't you want to mark them if that's where the stock has turned around before on previous days? It's created a pattern. It's all about patterns, pattern trading. You have the bigger patterns for multiple days, even weeks and, and even months and years. And then you have the intraday patterns, which are just these candlesticks. This is a one-minute chart. This is a five-minute chart. It's, I'm going to expand this a bit so it's not so messy in a minute. Fifteen-minute. Then for manage, uh, screen management, I have a one-hour and a four-hour, and I have a daily chart down here. So um, 
you you need to be able to see the patterns within the different alignments of the different time frames on the charts, and you need to see where the stock has turned around. So let me take you to the beginning of how we would set this up so it doesn't look so jumbled and messy to you. So you, I'm opening up a day chart that's down here for screen management. Now, what I did to start the day was I looked at yesterday's, right? I looked at the close of the stock. This is Meta. It closed at 368 37, $368.37. That's under my picture that you can't see it right there. And then down here in this corner is the ATR. This is a 14-day average ATR, average true range of that stock. So if I go over that and you look down at that average true range, it's $8.09. So you divide that in half. I just called it $4.05. I divided it in half, and then I subtracted half of it from the close of yesterday, which is $368.37, uh, yeah, seven cents, and I came up with this 364, three, I'm sorry, 346. You can see my dyslexia is hitting 346.78. That is our low bottom of the range, and then I added the other half to get the ATR high, which is in here somewhere, but th this is the actual mark, but the price is there. So what we did is we took that overall $8.09 range and we set it so that that's kind of in the center of it, right? But it's, uh, it doesn't even look like it, does it? Uh, but that's the center price uh, between those two levels. Let me just make sure that's right, guys, because it looks a little funky here. So 372 down to... Yeah, that's not right. That's not right at all. 346. So that's not right. So I'm glad we're, we're looking at this together because this can only go down from 372. Um, where is it? Yeah, there's the green. So 372.87 minus uh, the full $8.09. Let me just do it on a calculator because obviously something went skewed there. 372.87 minus the total, the total ATR was $8.09 because we're already at the top. So that should be 364. What did I have it at? Did I just, I dyslexic the, uh, the total here is what I did, didn't I? I made it, uh, 346. <laughs> wow. Okay, at least I know what happened there. Okay, so 364. All right, we got time. We got time. Jeez. Glad I caught that now. And that could be a problem to have dyslexia when you are a trader. Um, okay, so that makes more sense that that's the range based on the center of that close. So sorry about that, guys, but at least we got to correct it. So that's what you start with. That is the range that you're going to trade in. And now you're creating channels within that range. I ate up a little bit of our time here. So we do that in a couple of different ways. First, we set up a Fibonacci, Fibonacci levels. And we, do, we go 10 days back on a five-minute chart. This is all laid out in the book exactly how to do this. You go from the low to the high, left to right, and you're creating some support and resistance lines within the channel. We only got one. We got a couple just outside of if it moves if it moves outside. That's the yellows, okay? And then you do it again on a five minute a five minute chart, but you only go two days. This went from high to low, so you're always going left to right, all right? And then you created a bunch more. The pink lines in between. This is your ATR high, your ATR low, low. So look at how many support and resistance. Now those are the should be considered the most respected to start with. The Fibonacci levels, most people are going to respect those. So right in this area where you had double of them, you can see how the stock, you know, uh, slowed down this day. because you, know, you can see it kind of consolidated around those two. And then um, this day here, which is yesterday, um, here's your Fibonacci levels. It's kind of in between two. Now, the blue line, blue lines are four hours. So I also mark those. And what you're doing is you're, it's a big mess, but you're basically looking for the body and the wick, you know, on a four hour. So body and a wick, you try to mark them wherever you can, all of them, if, if they're not picked up by, this is picked up by a fib, that's why it's not marked there. And, you know, you this is where the stock has turned around. So what does that mean? That means that somebody's probably still holding a position there, holding a bunch of shares, and they're waiting for that to get there. Or they've got an alert when it gets back to that position, hey, I want to buy you know, that right then. So, you know, the stock changes direction 
for a reason back then. It wasn't random, right? So it would totally make sense to make a note of where that is on your existing start, shock, start, yeah, chart that you're trading today. So you want to get those marked out. That is the essence of the whole RV strategy is to mark out these levels. So we and then what happened was is now the RV strategy is based on your risk manager is based on the size of the channel. You set your share size. And this is a lot of detail in the book that I can't go into here based on the size of the channel. So you can you can ride that whole channel. So. When I was talking to my group here, some of them felt the channels were too big to do the share size. So when you see a channel that's too big, like from here to here, then I, I, I go down further to see, hey, is there a pivot point on a 15 minute or perhaps a one hour that can reduce that channel? Like this channel between the fib and the four, I went into the one hour and I was able to find out. Now there's been a lot of questions about this. The book, um, so you can see how I picked them up here. The four hour just blew by them like one big spike, and it didn't catch these pivot points here and here. So it's a good idea to people that are trading on different time frames. And often I don't do that, and the reason I don't keep going down in increments is because you know we go for the bigger channels depending on what crowd is trading. So you need to set your risk management based on the on the uh, channel size that you're prepared to lose. So can you go thirty cents? Can you go the whole move if this was your move here? Three three seventy thirty two up to three. Actually, that's, that's a dollar something, right? I'm sorry, that's a whole dollar off. So that's why that got, that that was needed so badly here because that was a huge channel. So you know, I was able to find a fifteen minute. I think I found a couple other fifteen minutes in case it blew the ATR. I remember finding another one? No, maybe not. Okay. Or I just didn't mark it. Oh, there's another one up there. Yeah. So, and then a bunch of our ones up here in case it heads into the stratosphere uh, above the ATR. Um, so that's kind of... Now, we do expect from looking at the video, you can find out which way we think the market's going to go every day. Type that in. There's a video for that, what we go through, our steps. Also, rating the stock. So the uh, meta rated really high to trade for the RV strategy. Again, if you see here, a lot of, a lot of the other stocks, like I was trading yesterday, had just gone straight up. And that's why it was kind of a hybrid of the RV strategy. But you can see this goes, the, the, the secret of the RV strategy is a consolidating stock, large cap, over 25 billion market cap, 1 billion float. And we mostly trade me mega cap, you know, huge caps. Um, but we're able to get support and resistance back here without doing, you know, Fibonacci um, extensions and um, all kinds of other things that you might do. So it makes scalping a bit easier when you have them marked out correctly. So we're just about to start. I'll be calling the ball, which that is called quarterbacking for the people here today. But everybody is responsible for taking their own trades. I'm going to try to call patterns as I see them. Um, is everybody ready to go here? Okay. So we're up at the ATR level, guys. So you know, uh, this is kind of the, the call, like, do we go long or do we go short on this? Um, it's just kind of bouncing off this. Um, and we still have about um, two and a half minutes. So this is a 15-minute chart. This is a five-minute chart. This is, oh, I'm going to get this so I can uh, auto-zoom and get this more so I can see what the heck's going on here. So I have a couple of minutes to set this here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do this. So the volume profile, I'm going to make that just one day here. And then I'm going to lower the opacity a bit. So we can, we're going to see this like I did yesterday. This is how you do this, although I have a whole video that shows how to do that. Uh, apply. OK. And now we have this set for the one day here. So it'll be a little bit easier. I mean, it, it's going to be more in the action of what we're scalping right here. As you can see, this this sort of hue here is the center of the volume profile. That's the upper level. That's the lower level. So this is going to help us trade. I forgot to set this up for it and help me call this particular trade right now. So I have about one minute to go. And I, I this is telling me to go long at this point. So... We'll see what happens here because it did break the ATR and it's starting to go up. But the fact that it, you have this big doji and this, uh, 
hanging man here uh, signifies a reversal. So I'm not quite sure. And look, it started a reverse already. Could that go down, huh? Uh, so now I'm looking more for a short. But let's see what happens here, because it might bounce right back up. Yeah, this, this is showing, I'm going to call the pattern here. Not only do we have an ATR that we're bouncing against, we've got about 15 seconds, guys. We always start one half hour after the market opens when we like to see the sideways consolidation of these stocks. Um, I'm looking for it to get back up here. I'm looking at the ask and the bid and what they're going to give me right here. And I'm looking for it to get up there. I'm going to actually short off of that rise. Um, and we are good to go. So I'm shorting right there, guys, off that four hour. <clears throat> I got it a short position at 373.23. And there is a, another hanging man right here. Uh, it kind of depends on, wow, okay, so it's going the wrong way. Kind of depends on what it's going to do here. Yeah, I called that wrong. I, I really thought it was going to go back down based on those reversal signs. On those, So I, I played that off the ATR, thinking it wasn't going to break through it strong, and off of these three reversal candles, three candles that were saying reversal of this upward move. So that's an intraday pattern. They don't always work. We're going pretty low share size today, so we'd, I'm not going to panic. I have a $500 max loss per trade going on here for this 500 shares. Everybody sets their own max loss per trade and their max loss per a day differently, obviously. Um, so we're breaking back down through the ATR. We're hitting the VWAP right here. And this is the point of control in the volume profile. So again, clear sign of a reversal right here. So four candles in a row that said, we're gonna have a reversal here, right? So this is a shooting star. And this is telling us that it's going to go down. So you had like two kind of hangman and a shooting star all saying we're going the other way. Now we have the ATR giving it support here, which is our average true range, the high of the average true range. Again, now I'm going to call out these patterns. And in the book, the candlestick um, pattern uh, playbook, it has how often, you know, with all these different experts that were used in collaboration, it tells you how often to respect the rating. You know, what is the percentage that that's going to be correct? So, um, so right now it's getting some support off this VWAP. So now technically the VWAP, if you want to get uh, be precise about it, is the value of the stock at that time. Now, is it really, do they really consider it that? And, you know, not a lot of people say no, but it's around that negotiated value of the stock. So a lot of people take that as a cold hard fact, like, hey, it's, you know, I'm getting a bad deal, you know, if I get it, if I pay more than that. And other people say, I've got a great deal if I buy it right then. So you, you, kind of, you have to step back from a scalper's mentality sometime and think about what some of the long-term traders might think when they start to look at that so you're looking at a five minute though you know yeah five minutes showing it right below too it's actually hitting the lower value of the um volume uh point of control right here this is the actual act that's actually the point of the point of control that red line that's what that is so um now we've got a fib down here and we've got some arrows down here. I don't know if it's going to go. This is going to turn your, some arrows down here. That's going to turn you around. I'm getting ready to reverse right here, guys, off this four hour. It, it seems to be bouncing off this four hour. So I'm kind of waiting to see um, if it's going to break through that with any kind of resolve or if I'm going to reverse and go back up with it. Again, we're channel trading. See how it traded in here? Now it's trading in here. So it's kind of swelling up and down for the channel. So use the channels to the best of your ability. And again, there's a whole book that talks about how to do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse in anticipation of that turning around. Now, um, God, I didn't even look at the scalpers and I'm just realizing I wanted it to back me up. This indicator is a great indicator to read it. And I wasn't, I was just so used to reading things before this was ever, we ever even invented this. But this is amazing because this is the sellers, the buyers. So. So what I should have said and saw, and I was picking up on it here, 
is the volume was dropping with the sellers. So see how the volume went down with them? And it was way up here with the buyers. So it seems like the buyers is the way to go on this. So now you could look at the ATR. See, it is working that way. There's a wave you'd want to jump on. So you're going to definitely want to get this indicator, guys. It's free. Um, so you definitely, and this is a ladder bottom. Okay, so I'm calling this too. This is a ladder bottom pattern, which means it's going to go up to the top of the ladder if it completes its move, like right in this area. 373.16 is where you'd want to look for before you start worrying about turning around or maybe at that four hour. Now, it depends on, what is the power of this move as it's if, it, if it's going to break the atr here you know if 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 there's a big if here because this is a big resistance even though you have a pattern here so you're, you're going a daily uh, a average true range 14 day resistance point with against a pattern right so now you know what who's going to win right so you just got to be prepared you're already in the middle of a winning trade so don't lose your profits if it turns. Okay, so it, it's it's broken through, and now it's going up to the. Uh, it's going up to that four hour, and let's look at the strength down there. So thirty five percent on the uh, scalping indicator. It's a strong trade. It's gonna. It's hitting a triple. I'm gonna. I'm reversing there, guys. Um, now it was still strong here. It definitely was. But I look at it that every time it passes through something, it's sort of like a shackle. It, it reached the end of the ladder bottom move, and it hit two other four hours up here, and the volume profile is saying you're near the top. Now, that doesn't mean it won't push right through, and I need to be prepared to, to reverse again. But the way I look at it is I now have that money in the bank. So if I lose two or 300 before I reverse, I got, I didn't lose it all, you know, so I'm looking at it like the way I scalp. That's the way I look. Everybody looks at this differently, but, you know, and, and it's turning out that now I got to worry about the ATR giving it support and not breaking through it again. So um, now there's also the even dollar amounts that you have to think about as well. So um, like right here on the even dollar and it's slowing down twice in a row Sellers are fading. See how the sellers are going down? So I'm actually worried. I'm actually going to reverse there based on the fact that this strength was going down. They were coming evening out, and it wasn't making it strong. And I don't have a pattern that says that this is going to continue to go down. And I have the even dollar, uh, 373 right here, which is not marked. but And you have other areas where it hit right here at 373. See so how many times it turned around? So I kind of just based it on that. That's right there. And that's right where it turned around. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good. So now we're going to look for the same kind of it already banked off. I, 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 also, I wish I would have actually reversed already. 373.08. Now we're just, we're just going to carve out little things. So now it's creating sort of a flat top that, that it could break out from. But it's not breaking out yet. So... I'm going to see if it hits it up a little higher up there. Yeah, it looks like that was it. I'm actually going to reverse there, guys, and take a little. I think it's about to fade off. I want to be on the short for this. Oh, well, it could have gone up a little higher there. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some tiny scalping in here. So I'm kind of, I'm very glad that we captured this move and this move because now we've got some money in the bank. We're only doing 500 shares today, not like yesterday. So it's going to be hard. It would be difficult for me to get to my $5,000 goal. I've taken that into account. I'm not, oh, okay. So I definitely turned around too quick. Now. So now it's hitting the arrow here and it kind of broke that flat top. That's sort of the flat top breakout. It wasn't a perfect one, but it did do it. So, um, yeah, what I just saw, too, and I didn't pick up on this, this is a bullish engulfing. So this bull engulfed this candle. Now, some might call it a tweezer move, which means it would go down, but it is definitely engulfing this, which means it goes up. So you have a conflicting story here if you're just reading intraday patterns now i don't want to make it sound over confusing because it's not 
once you pick up on these patterns, and really there's like 12, 10 to 12 that repeat every single day. And you, there, there's a, high, a higher percentage that are right than wrong, you know, between like 65 to 82 percent. Um, here we go. So um, everybody's doing pretty good up there. Whenever there's a big move, I like to see how everybody's doing um, above me here. But uh, again, the patterns mean a lot, and I want to be more specific about how I call them out. Um, Yeah, so it's reversing. So I'm gonna t I'm gonna take that. It's just a little tiny scalp that I took there. Okay, so let's see if it has more strength coming up here this time. Let's see if it breaks it this time. It's going to fade off. I'm going to reverse. Buyers are still winning out. Whoa, that was a strong. That was okay. So I'm not going to reverse. Now there's a 15 minute we put here for uh, um, this channel not to be so big, but and it looks like it hit it here a whole bunch of times too, which is kind of cool. But no, it's going. It's going right through. All right, this is going to be a good trade if we don't miss it. So let's not miss it. Is it going to break? So it's got a new high for the day. That's probably a new high for the whole stock, actually. Wow. There it goes. One of my wows, guys. There's a wow. Um, oh, my God. Look at that. Air's thin up there. It's having trouble. It's having trouble. Oh, man. I'm going to bank this, guys. I'm going to bank this. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bank it because it, it's, it, keeps, it keeps getting lower lows on the, on the level two as it's trying to fight its way up. So it could get it wrong here. <sighs> yeah, it's still going up. Okay. Well, I wish I could see what this is... Uh... So this is a four hour. So we're up in the new we're up in the new area here. We're up in the stratosphere. So we do have some one hours and fibs and this is our last four hour right here. Okay. So this is a bit of a tweezer move, which would signify a move down. I'm gonna capture that for a second. Broke two thousand. I'm looking to go long again. Actually, yeah, I'm a short again. I mean I'm gonna go capture it there. So I got a little bit of a cushion if this keeps going on that pullback. You know, as to pairs to compared to where I was. So now you got three white soldiers coming up here on a pattern. It broke through that. There goes my little cushion. I could have just stayed long. I can I'm still playing it short here. Yeah, look at the strength here, guys. So I'm definitely bucking the trend. Um There's your 15 minute so it pulled back. Oh, this isn't going to let me do it on this, huh? Oh, there we go. There's your five minute. You got to kind of watch everything. You're watching for alignment over here. You're watching for 15 minute, five minute alignment. You're watching the scalpers indicator. You're looking at level two. You're looking at support lines. I mean, level two on large caps, you're not going to get a lot of big moves here. So with that, um, guys are doing good. I think I'm right there in the pack of the leaders here, right around 2K. Um, all right, so there's another hanging man pattern. This is a hanging man pattern right here. On the, on the end of an uptrend, when you have a long a wick uh, and a body above, that's the hanging man, which means a reversal of the direction it's going. And that's exactly what happened. So off this four hour and off the hanging man, it went down. Now it could just be a short move. Um, 
So we got to be ready to catch that if it bounces right back up. It, it hit, look at how it hit off that 15 right there and then kind of went back up. So this was put on the 15 minute to kind of give us a, a lot of people are playing that right now, like get in and get out right there. For the, you know, this, for 500 shares, there's a lot of shares for, for, I mean, you know, that's a lot of money for, for most people. Um, so, you know, you weren't going to have any trouble getting filled on Meta with 500 shares. And remember, Thinkorswim promises their liquidity at 3.7% above whatever this is. So it'll multiply it by 3.7% to fill your order at that price in 0 0.02 seconds. If you want data on Thinkorswim, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to help you out with it. I, I know it pretty well, to many, many years. Uh, and also traded on uh, Street Smart's Edge, which... If you got the little uh, notification, like everybody else, they're taking that away. I knew they were going to do it. Um, but now I was just doing swing trades on it because I had switched here a while ago. But uh, I knew that it, they were really pumping the advertising on Thinkorswim. So I knew Street Smart Edge was going to go away with Charles Schwab. Um, but I, I strongly believe this is the, plat the best platform that's available in the United States. This is the number one, in my opinion. Sorry for... I'm sure I'm going to get some scream out. This is just my opinion. And um, and I know a lot of from my overseas seas friends or out of the U.S. friends that they're frustrated that they can't get this platform. And I feel for you. I do. But this strategy will work on any platform, you know, obviously. You don't, maybe don't get all the bells and whistles, but I'm sure you can adapt it, you know, to uh, to work for you. So this is a tweezer move, which means it's going to reverse if it does what it's supposed to do, like 64 or 65 percent of the time on the bull tweezer, bull on the right side. You could almost call it engulfing, but it needs to go back up. Engulfing would mean it's going to go uh, down. Wow, it's going down. So I guess more people saw that as engulfing. Now, this is also the, the creation of a bull flag. Here's the pole. Here's the flag. Let's see where it stops. Look at the 50 cents and the half dollar as well. I mean, the 50 cents and the whole dollar, the half dollar and the whole dollar as well. Um, there, we're, we're stalling at the at the half dollar right now. Let's see if it can blow through that. I'm getting ready to reverse, guys. Oh, it went through it. Uh, it's hitting the 20 moving average down here right now. That's my 20 is the green. The gray is the nine moving average. I'm going to reverse right there. Uh, I don't think we're going to get better than the 50 cents. That's like the fourth time it's tapped it. So I think that's that's the end of that. And I think we might be creating a beautiful bull flag. So let's see. The second green candle will tell us if it is officially a bull flag. And if it is, that means it should travel the length of the pole. Wow. It looks like it's going to do it before it even makes the second, uh, <laughs> the other end of that. Wow, is it going to bank off that? Is it going to bank off that uh, four hour? Yeah, it's. it's I'm going to take a quick. I'm. I'm looking for a quick. Uh, a quick reversal there. Now this <laughs> closed as a definite bearish engulfing this, which means it's going to go down. So that just took over that whole move going up but they're they're in a battle because why do you know remember why does the stock move according to the patterns because enough people read the patterns and then react like lemmings all traders are lemmings so they might have just been watching the one in the moment and watch this close i think the engulfing's pretty in the 75 accuracy range this is 82 percent of the time uh a bull flag, 82% of the time, it will go the way it's supposed to go. So I don't think this is done yet. It's still, well, now it's no. If it passes halfway down past the pole, yeah, it already did that. So it's no longer officially a bull flag. But, you know, people read things different ways. So um, um, 
I said, I got the lead here pretty good, so something went wrong up there with everybody. Did I call it opposite? What I called it the correct way, I assume. Um, now, everybody takes their own trades, and this is not easy, guys. So, uh, but the, okay, so now I'm looking for it to bank off. I'm looking for a bank off the ATR. So, um, yeah, if that's going to, if that's going to hit that again, 73. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that off the ATR, and it could break it, but I banked it my same logic before, and this is a very, very strong support for a downward move here. Uh, it's already past the full bearish engulfing which would be the full length of the candle from the bottom that's about right here where it is it's at the point of control right now um and now it's doing a reverse off of that so let's keep a close eye everybody's doing good we got everybody's going long right now so i hope that i called this right guys so if we see a big breakthrough here then we have to be prepared for a quick turnaround because it, it will take a lot of strength to break it and if that happens people might just jump on you know they'll see this and they just jump on the red like a wave you know like you've seen how it happens people get out the wave comes in and you see the movement you just jump on that movement and get off just before it hits the rocks you know so um so i don't really have a pattern here Oh, it went through. Okay. So get ready if that hits it really strong. So the sellers are, you know, there's a battle here. So, but now it has to, okay, it broke through it. I was going to say now it has to break through the ceiling like it's a resistance. And you do have a price level here. Oh, I marked this earlier. Okay. Today, I mean, since we started trading. Um, yeah, here it is on the five minute. Oh. Yeah, so we're just hovering at this ATR, and a lot of times it will just sit and consolidate at the average true range before it makes a decision. Now, we could get into the escalator strategy where it breaks through and then retests and then just takes off. But most of us believe today from that video I said, see which way the market's going to go, which is based a lot on these, these mega tech stocks. It looked like it was going to go up today. So overall, we feel, although there was been, had been some a little pullback on Meta, a little breath, we feel it's going up today. That's our feeling. So if I was going to stay in a position or had to guess when I didn't have enough data. So we have another ladder uh, down and a reversal on a doji. So both of these signs said go up, and that's what it's doing. And plus you had the ATR. So now we have a pattern, ladder bottom, and this indecisive candle which signifies the end of a move. And now it's got a breakthrough. So now we just look at how strong is this move going to be. So the patterns are working perfectly today. Like I think nine, nine, nine times out of 10, they've been correct. I don't know if there's actually been 10 times I've called it, but um, I, I, one was off, but there was, a, there was a discrepancy. So that's why it's so important. Get any book that teaches you patterns. The book that just came out that's a bestseller now is that Candlestick Pattern Playbook, which I'll have a link to, um, that has them all rated and had all these other people involved that they were using the ratings. And the Million Dollar Margin Club put it out. So it's just it's just the best book I've ever seen because it's a workbook for, for patterns. I mean, it's, it's a workbook. So, you know, it helps you learn. Um, so, yeah, uh, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, what do you call it, an advocate of it. I'm a cheer cheerleader guy for it <laughs> i can't come up with the right analogy i'm trying to say um okay well it's banking off that 15 and turning around too much so i'm going to go ahead and get that so i got it at 373.57 um So that seemed to be the end of that move right there, unless this is just a brief pullback. So 
So maybe it'll create another bull flag for us. I don't have a clear pattern here to call you guys. I'm sure there's some obscure pattern here that I can't remember. Seems like there's a pattern for everything, but the ones that I really commit to memory are the ones that are like above 65% accurate. Some of the patterns are 50% accurate. It's like, what, what's, why would you ever, you know, so that's just, in other words, flip a coin. I, why would you count on a 50% accurate pattern? <laughs> I don't get the logic there. So, um, so did you see it hit off that line there? So, and that's right at the top of the point of control value and it hit off it. So, uh, Let's see if that's going to be supported down there because it look at that. I should have reversed right then. I thought about it. Just the volume is just is going down right here. So it's hard to call. Now, remember with patterns, the larger the volume, the more accurate the pattern will be on its rating. That's really important. Like if a stock's not moving at all, then... You, know, you can't count on the pattern. So this is still moving just fine, you know, over 20,000. Uh, and then you can see, remember, this is multiplied by 100, and over half of these orders are hidden. You never even get to see what's really going on. So you got to remember that. Um, and then, you know, then take into account all the front runners and the dark pools and everything else that's going on. It's really stacked against us, which is one of the reasons why I like to get in and out with scalping so I can't get caught in these games that these people play. So, so that's a ladder bottom. It turned around. I think it's done. I think it's done with its move. I'm looking for a pullback of any, I'm just going to take that. Oops. I'm going to take that right there. Um, so So I've got mine at 373 and 35 cents. And that was really off of the four hour and the uh, ladder bottom and a doji signifying a reversal, right? So everything is telling us what's going to happen. Now, this should really go above, the, it should go to the top of the ladder at least. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to, unless something drastic happens here. I can't make my nut this morning, which is 5K. But uh, I, I'm happy to trade the lower share size for people. And even lower, they know, you know I'll go down to 50 shares. Um, but there's a lot of people that can, that can afford this um, with their margin account. And it's not quite so risky. So remember, creating these channels and then setting your, your risk management plan based on channel size is a lot different than anybody else teaches you. It's a whole new way of trading. And it's in that book, Day Trading Volume 1, which I will have a link for. Um, and that's put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. You know that I really support that book. I really support that new book, The Candlestick Pattern Playbook. I really support trading in the zone. Um, that helps you handle emotionally trading. And I'm going to be, there's another book that I'm, uh, I've read it like four times and I'll be, uh, I'm waiting for the month to change to come up <coughs> with a new book that I'll support. So it doesn't just seem like I'm talking about books all day long, but, um, and there's, these books are going to be by different authors, ones that I feel made a difference in my life trading and um, it's hard to find books that just aren't churning out the same crap or um, promoting a, a YouTube channel or a site to buy a course. So these books that I'm promoting don't do that. They're not trying to sell you a course. They're not trying to send you to a YouTube channel. They're just about trading. <coughs> um, I'm sure they're trying to sell books, <laughs> but, uh, but you can't, you can't uh, get upset for that 
when there's all, when there's another motive. You look, not that I judge that in any way. Everybody has a total right to make a living, any way they can possibly carve out a living in this very very difficult world to make a living that so many people struggle with, and I did for for a long time too. And um, and there's a lot of luck. You know, it's a lot of luck no matter what you do, right? Good or bad, there's a lot of luck. You could be doing everything perfectly and still things go. I'm not going to become a motiv- motivational speaker here, but um, I it's hard, man. We all know it. <coughs> These little things give you an edge if you're going to do day trading. Patterns, patterns, patterns. I, I said in yesterday's video I was going to focus on that. I don't think I've called these wrong, but I was sure yesterday, so, you know, Feel free to correct me if you think I've called a pattern wrong, and I'll try to get better. Um, wow, I broke 4K. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to just sell when I get when I get. I'm at my time, so so it broke that. It's broken breaking through these, which is keeping me is keeping me from selling. I'm really surprised I got this high in 500 shares. This is good. So here we go. I'm going to look for this resistance up here. And the high is right here. So we're up in the stratosphere. I always say it's like you can't breathe up here. Uh, I'll sell. You can't breathe up here. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. Okay, guys. So I'm done at uh, I have $4,245. So, um, wow, I got out too soon. But that's the RV strategy, guys. Um, and, you know, learning how to, I, I have a lot of videos, and all the people that watch these videos over and over see me show how to do the RV strategy. I didn't do it yesterday and I got all these questions. Um, so it seems like I need to do it every video. But if, if it's unclear for you, um, you know, look at the other videos. So the other strategies that we trade, um, oh, we got a little emergency here. Okay, I think that's gonna be handled by somebody else. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, everybody knows don't don't bother me when I'm trading unless it's something big time. I have to tell you, I'm seeing this setup right here and I'm getting very excited about buying again. So I might take one more trade, guys. This is the FOMO thing, but I'm looking at a trade down here. Is this going to keep going down? No. Okay, so this is just a quick dip then. But I'd like to see it hit here again in this area and then you would see me take one more trade the kiss of death right but i'm so close to 5k i'm thinking if i can catch this surge up the next time i should have caught the i should have got the pullback is what i should have got so this is a bear tweezer not perfect this means it's going to go down more right this this is telling you it's supposed to go down so it, it didn't really go down from its close. So it's interesting that it's not. Yeah, so it's going back up is what it's doing. Yeah, guys, I'm going to get in there. I, I think this is an upward move. I'm going to get in there one more time. I know most you just kept trading and, you, and you, a lot of you just caught up to me. So this could be, I don't want to go down below uh, 4K here if I make a mistake. But I'm waiting for this to ride back up again. So let's see what happens here. Now, if you really stretch that out, you might call that a bull flag. It's a stretch. <laughs> but I stretched it, right? Um, uh, okay, we've got to deal with this problem, guys. Um, See, I should have stopped trading because now all the shit's hitting the fan. So, um, oh, sorry, I said a, I never counted that word as a swear word, but I guess some people do. So I apologize. I'm not trying to swear. It was a phrase. 
Um, the crap hit the fan. Yeah, when I grew up, that wasn't a swear word, but I know some people are offended by it. So I jumped on at the right time. I got it. I got that move. Whoa! Okay. Okay. That was good. It's got a new high. So, yeah, it's kind of pulled back like a rubber band and then shot up. I kind of got that feeling that that might happen. I was done. And uh, I just talking to you guys for a minute more. Remember, if you like what you see, to subscribe. Um, there's a huge amount of videos in the uh, trading archives um, that you might want to check out. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, oh, is that it? I'm going to take it. Oh, I, I desperately wanted to get to uh, 5K, but that's when things go wrong. So, I mean, I, you know, I scraped another few hundred on there. So, um, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching today. Um, be careful. Trade in a sim. Remember, trade in a sim until you're green. If you're just looking at this and it's exciting to you, there is a bit of a skill to it. But I do honestly believe anybody can learn how to scalp by watching people on YouTube and by reading books and then just try it in a simulator and be careful that way first. And then remember a simulator, you can make millions of dollars in a simulator if you don't care, you know, if it's not the way you're really gonna trade. So you have to trade a simulator like you're really gonna trade. Um, and that's covered in that book too, by the way. Um, but um, yeah, I would, I, would, uh, be, be, I would lower my share size at least by half from what, what after I was green in the simulator for a couple of months. And then remember the, you know, that's why Trading the Zone is a great book to, to build your confidence. Day Trading Volume 1, Trading the Zone. Those two books alone that put out by diff different authors will really get you into day trading, the full uh, gambit of emotional as well as like how to set up an account and how to start trading scalping. Now, there's all kinds of different ways to trade. You might not like this kind of trading, so that's different books that I'm not talking about right now. Uh, but I will be talking about one next month that's for more longer-term trading, uh, and I can't wait to bring that up to you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you down the road. Be careful out there.